Hi, I'm Tracy Prentice of Montague, Massachusetts, and I'm going to show you how to make a pie chart in a Word document. When you want to insert a chart into a Word document, you position your insertion point where you'd like the chart to appear, and you go up to the Insert tab on the ribbon. The Illustrations group has a Chart button. When you click on Chart, you'll get the Insert Chart dialog box. The first thing you do is you choose the type of chart you would like. In this case, we want a pie chart, so we will click on Pie at the left. This will give us access to the different styles of pie chart that are available to us in Microsoft Office. Click on the type of pie chart you would like, and click OK. This will insert a basic pie chart into your document, and it will bring up a grid, actually an Excel spreadsheet, in which we will type in the numbers that we want to appear on our chart. There is sample data given to you to get rid of it. Drag your cross pointer around it and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Then you can enter in your own information. I'm going to make a chart that shows how many different alumni in the college alumni group are of different types, undergraduate versus graduate. After I've typed in my text labels, I will type in numbers. And as I type those numbers, my pie chart updates in my document. The pie chart represents each as a slice of the pie. When you're done entering the data, you can simply close the Excel window. The data is saved as part of your Word document. There is no need for you to save it separately. If you need to edit the data in your chart, click on the chart. And up at your ribbon, you'll have a Chart Tools Design tab. Click on Edit Data. It will redisplay your spreadsheet, and you may change the numbers or um, add new numbers or delete rows that you no longer need. In addition, your ribbon allows you to change your chart styles, so you can choose a different color for your chart, as well as change the layout. So I can add more data to my chart. I can recolor my chart, and I can choose a different layout for it to change how large it is, where the labels are, adding percent to the slices, and so forth. When you're happy with your chart, simply click off of it back into your text, and you're back to editing a Word document. Anytime you need to change your chart, remember to click on it first to bring up your Chart Tool tabs. That is how to insert a chart into a Word document.